welcome back with another new video today's video is very special for those people who actually never wanted to root their devices but wanted to use the root applications so this is project kara kernel su supported kernel finally for redmi 7 so let's get it started now we are ready to install kernel su in our redmi 7 like other devices actually this project is based on kernel so if you don't have a su supported kernel su supported uh, kernel in build in your device then just contact your provider who actually uh, regularly updates their custom roms and kernels uh, talk to them and they will of course build it this is it and we have only one custom kernel which support kernel su for redmi 7 and which is project kara let me show you the kernel and of course we need that kernel su uh, application to particular uh, to root any particular application okay and this is really really important and very important thing is that uh, imagix can do entire system root but this application uh, can help you to uh, just to a particular application you can root just a particular application which you want just which one you want you can do root so let me show you the files for, we need that file just, just download the file from the given link in description and before that you must download the kernel and you need to flash the kernel i hope you already know how to flash the kernel and i'm using here the lineage OS right now and this is project kara the previous build and this is the latest one which is ksu that means kernel super user and gki general kernel interface so we are going to flash this one first i am using here the lineage os i already flashed the kernel but i, I would show you again so that you guys don't worry don't face any issues this is lineage os i already showed you so first of all boot your device into recovery when you are in recovery first of all go to backup and then select your storage and of course if you have internal or external or whatever just select and then uh, try to back up your boot files okay here is the boot file and you can select the name okay and this is the onglet file let me show you lineage os onclight user debug okay and this is the file name right now so i'm going to uh, keep that name okay i'm going to take a backup of internal sorry uh, kernel and this is called boot uh, before you do the process before flashing the kernel of course you must take the default kernel backup okay then select boot and swipe to backup just select your internal or external storage wherever you want to take that backup it's up to you so 100% completed it's done right now when you are done with taking backup then just get back and navigate to the folder you have download you have downloaded or stored your files where here is the kernel okay case you kernel I'm going to flash it just select the file and let it be flashed so kernel flashed already done so reboot system right now so device already booted lineage os always comes with lineage os kernel by default now we already flashed project kara kernel let me show you that here is the kernel which is project kara which supports gki so we are ready to install kernel ac right now okay open the file manager and I'll definitely navigate to the folder you have downloaded the kernel su I have made a folder here just select the latest one this is the last update which is kernel su 0.62 just select the file just install like normal apk and when you are done just get back and you will get the file here of course let me drag it here okay 
now open the kernel issue if you see here the working then it is perfectly working otherwise it will uh, show unsupported if it is shown un unsupported then definitely contact your uh, kernel provider of course uh, they can build it then super user right you will get all the applications here which application you need to uh, provide the permission for rooting a device or something okay before doing all these things let me show you one thing and which is root checker i have already downloaded the downloaded it verify root device is not rooted right now so if i wanted to root this particular application which is called root checker then i have to provide the permission open kernel su and find out the application which is called root checker just open it and click just provide that permission you can do custom permission as well which is called an inherited and global and individual but let it default and one important thing is that your permission will be denied after reboot when you reboot you need to provide that permission again every time so maybe very soon a uh, problem problem will be solved no problem right now oh, let me open it i already provide the permission okay let me do that swipe and here is congratulation root access is properly installed so this is how we can uh, just provide permission to root any specific any specific application let me show you here we have safety net checker application we can provide the permission super user right in every single application you can do that and i'm using here one thing which is called here the r board the g board theme i'm using right now here using that particular application which is kernel su so g board i already provided the video of r board using magix module but you guys can flash module using kernel su just go to do that section and install modules from that particular section when you have any module you can try this uh, all modules are not supporting right now but uh, in future everything will be fine so this is a very alternative routing system for uh, people who doesn't want to root their devices using magisk actually who doesn't want to root their system so this is how we can uh, solve the problem in routing so this is it hope you guys understand the video if you like my work then subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching